I think that Article 26 is indeed fit um, to meet the challenges of the post-tax havens era. We need to achieve a little bit more of certainty as to its implications and its interpretation and solve some issues like to what extent fishing expeditions are in fact prohibited. So perhaps achieving some common standards of interpretation and application would uh, in fact not require a change in the wording of the provision. However, um, from what I have heard during this course, I believe that there would be problems uh, mainly as to domestic law uh, which would require some changes and in particular uh, trying to understand how much information can be gathered on the basis of domestic law by the state. So perhaps Article 26 is fit but there are further changes which are required for the purpose of you know, meeting the new challenges of the post-tax havens era. My perception is that the Academy of Global Governance can be a, an important forum to have people with different backgrounds discuss on technically relevant issues concerning taxes. Taxes have been kept for long um, out of the main interest of people from law and were just relegated to a domain where specialists uh, address the relevant issues. Now, global law and global governance requires to have to address global issues on a global basis and to uh, bring together all different expertise in order to find solutions which can be truly valid from a technical perspective. So my, my, my perception is that the Academy of Global Governance could become the forum to discuss global issues including the tax ones and tax havens and the transitions from tax havens to um, co cooperative tax jurisdiction is certainly a global topic and I would really much encourage continuing the debate uh, here uh, at the Academy of Global Governance.